So in this video, we'll solve a sample question for IC Computer Science Practicals paper. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel and click on the bell icon to receive all the latest updates. So this question is on matrices, which is 2D array of integers. So let's take a look at the question. So you have to take input M and N from the user as the number of rows and the number of columns for a matrix. Then read M into N integers. You have to print the 2D array, which is the matrix. Then you have to reverse each row of the matrix and print it again. All right. And M and N are given in the range greater than or equal to 1 and less than or equal to 6. Same for M and N. And for invalid size, you print size out of range. So this is the sample input. You prompt for something like M is equals to and you read the value of M. Similarly, prompt for N, read the value of N. Print something like this. Read the values for the first row. Similarly, for all the rows. For output, you have to say input matrix. Then you have to print the input matrix, change a line, print reverse row each matrix. And then you have to reverse each row of the matrix and print it. The first row is 2, 3, 1. It becomes 1, 3, 2. The second row is 4, 0, 5. It becomes 5, 0, 4. The third row is 1, 5, 6. It becomes 6, 5, 1. So let's get coding now. So I will use a scanner to read input from the user. I'll say scanner to read input from the user. Scanner, scanner is equal to new scanner system dot in. Close the scanner. Closing the scanner is a good coding practice. So let's get coding now. So I have to read the value of M and N. So to store the values M and N, okay. M and N, as per the value of M. So sys out M is equals to, and I don't have to change line after I print M is equals to, say M is equal to scanner dot next it, okay. Similarly, ask for the value of n okay so instead of m i print n and i read this into n all right now i have to check for the valid range of m and n which have to be between 1 and 6 so validate values m and n so m and n have to be both between 1 and 6 so if m is less than 1 or m is greater than 6 or n is less than 1 or n is greater than 6 okay so if m is out of range or n is out of range okay i print size out of range okay so i have to print this i'll say system dot out dot print in and i terminate the program okay so i'll say return okay you get this yellow line warning because the scanner is not closed before you are returning so i just close the scanner and this will disappear all right now i have validated the values of m and n and i have to read the values in the input now okay i'll say the matrix to store the values say int a is equal to int a m and n all right For each row, so for int i is equal to 0, i is less than m, i plus plus. Okay. Ask the user to enter values for this row. Sys out, enter the values or what the prompt is, enter elements for row 1. Okay. And I don't have to change line after I print the prompt. And instead of 1, I'll say i plus 1 for this corresponding row. okay and then read the values for this row so i'll say for int j is equal to 0 j is less than n j plus plus and a of i comma j is equal to scanner dot next int all right so this is reading all the input from the user and i will close my scanner here because i don't need to read any more input after i read in the values of the matrix now what I have to do is I have to reverse each of the rows, okay. So what I am going to do for each row for int i is equal to 0, i is less than m, 
i plus plus okay so a of i will give me this row right and i have to reverse it okay so i'll say traverse the half of the row okay so i'll say for int j is equal to 0 j is less than n by 2 j plus plus okay and you have to swap the jth and the n minus 1 minus jth that is swap jth and n minus 1 minus jth elements of this row so i'll say int temp is equals to a of i comma j i'll say a of i comma j is equals to a of i comma n minus 1 minus j and a of same row n minus 1 minus j is 10 okay so you see that we are keeping the row number exactly the same everywhere we are just working with this row to swap this and n minus 1 minus jth element okay so we have reversed each row as well all right so i'll write a method to display the matrix i'll say the method to display the matrix static void display i'll say int a okay int m int n okay for each row okay then for each column okay j less than n j plus plus print this i'll say sys out okay not changing a line right now i'll say a i j plus a space okay and then l finally when i print this row print all columns in this row i'll change a line okay so i have to print once after i read in the matrix so print a message so i'll print the message which is input matrix so i'll say print this first say sys out okay and then display matrix which is this okay and then i'll change a line all right similarly i have to do this after i reverse each row so i will instead of printing input matrix i will print this message i'll say reverse each row matrix okay so let me just do a quick check and see if i made any mistakes so starting from this okay this is fine this is fine uh, aij is fine change line is fine scanner is fine reading the value of m is fine n is fine checking the ranges is fine and creating a matrix is fine i0 less than m j0 oh i made a typo here and then uh, Printing this matrix, displaying this, changing a line, closing the scanner again. 0 to m, j to less than n by 2, i, j, i, j. Yeah, fine. This is fine. So let's just run now. So I'll say m is equal to 3, n is equal to 3. So for row 1, I have 2, 3, 1. And then I have 4, 0, 5. Then I have 1, 5, 6. So this is the output I get is exactly what i expect let's take in another input for let's say 4 comma 4 so i have to enter four elements i'll say 2 3 1 8 i'll say 3 3 0 4 i'll say 2 1 8 5 i'll say 9 5 7 3 so 2 3 1 8 becomes 8 1 3 2 3 3 0 4 becomes 4 0 3 3 2185 becomes 5812 and 9573 becomes 3759. Let's just run for invalid input. I'll say 0, 4 size out of range. I'll say 4, 0 size out of range. I'll say 4, 7 size out of range. I'll say 7, 4 size out of range. So this is a sample question on 2D arrays, which is matrices. And this one of this question will definitely be asked in your ISC 2021 practicals. So I hope this video was helpful. So please do like this video and subscribe to my channel for more such videos. And thank you for watching.